Record event for the seven wayfinders. What are we doing, sleepy? We're taking a hot air balloon for Leslie's birthday. It's just the two of us trying to find a hot air balloon experience. We're supposed to be here right now, and there's just an address, and then there's nothing here. Nothing. See that sign for ballooning Canterbury. So that's what we're hoping to do this morning. If we can find anyone. And I've learned my lesson about driving into fields. Yeah. <laughs> You're our witness right now. If we get stuck in this farm field. I didn't think it was a good idea. Who wants to come get us out? <laughs> it's true, we did learn our lesson about driving into fields. Hopefully, today we'll get to show you a hot air balloon. I just had this darling little New Zealand man tell us he was worried that we were stranded on the road. He said, go up to the orange flashing light. Oh, orange flashing light. Dun, dun, nah, nah. Okay, we're just waiting for this van. And it looks like we've got two other people with us, so that'll be fun. Good thing we don't have a busy week, <laughs> right? We're gonna do hot air ballooning for Leslie's birthday. We're gonna go uh, up onto a glacier through a with a helicopter. We're also going to uh, take a boat ride by the glacier on the lake with the kids, and we're hitting hot springs, and we're doing night photography, and we're doing a camper van. It. <laughs> and sometime in there, I'm working once. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> We're here. Oh, how pretty. This is Anna. Say hi, Anna. Hi. <laughs> how are you feeling about this? Nervous. <laughs>
This is going to be so freaky. <laughs> oh my, that is so cool. When we come into land today, I need you to get in the landing position. So facing this direction, holding on to the handle of the front end. When we land, you're going to stay in that position, keeping your arms inside the basket, holding onto the handles, and you're not going to get out to your toe, okay? Oh my gosh, we are lifting off the ground. Goodness. Another successful takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> so you can rotate it. Rotate it, but it doesn't steer it. This is incredible. you realize that this is all that's holding you. <laughs> I didn't think the view was gonna get better as we went up. <laughs> this is amazing. What do you think? It's amazing. Are you scared? No. It's pretty calm. It's really peaceful. It really is. Oh, oh, I want to see that. This is 
swimming position. <laughs> Look how close we are. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I feel like now you're just showing off. Just barely <laughs> touching. Here comes our support vehicle. <laughs> a little nerve wracking, but that was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a quick story about the history of Bologna and how it all started, okay? So Bologna first started back in France in 1783, Ooh. and there were two brothers, and they were called the Montgolfier brothers. Standing there one day after work, putting some of their paper on the fire, and the watching as it burnt, it got lifted up in the air. They built balloons out of paper and silk, and burnt them as like straw, dung, and coal. They managed to heat these balloons up and get them lifted to the sky. So they decided it was time for something to go for a fly. But they weren't too keen on going themselves just yet. So we got sheep, a duck, and a rooster. Mm. Put them in this pen underneath this balloon, heated it up, and they sent them. <laughs> but unfortunately, on our first hot air balloon flight, we had our first hot air balloon accident. <laughs> when they landed, the sheep stood on the ducks and went for the <laughs> Nevertheless, they still had successful flight, so they thought, right, now it's time we should give us a go for ourselves. One of the brothers go, but they wanted to take two people. They took another person who was an artist at the time, and the idea was he could paint what he saw in the sky. It was the first time man had been in the sky before. And his name was Pilot Rosier, and that's where the name Pilot comes from today. Pilot the pilot, first man balloon. Wow! I had no idea. So they heated this balloon up, sent it to Paris, they took off, and they drifted away with the breeze. But as you can imagine back then, the only thing people had seen flying was birds. So they take bottles of champagne with them. In France, they have plenty of this to go around. So look, come in peace. They're not aliens, and they give the farmer a bottle of champagne. <laughs> they thought they might be chasing them out of the pitch for And they also toasted to the flight with a glass of champagne, and we continued that tradition to this very day, and we toast to our flight. Woo! <laughs> I am stoked. Happy, happy birthday! It's a beautiful, beautiful sunrise on my birthday.